time we bought it, it was the top of the line commercial mower for DR. They, they're now up to 18 horse. You can either get a 26 inch deck or a 30 inch. And uh, I prefer the 26 because it's more maneuverable. Mm -hmm. But this power head can be used for about a dozen different things from a snow blower to a electric generator to a push blade. It has all sorts of options. Is that the same one as they use for the truck, the truck that they have in the upper peninsula that they use? That's no, that's another, that's another different, that different version of it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Although, I've heard that they've, onto their DR, they've attached a tow They do. They have a sled. The Hiawatha tows a, a, sl a sled uh, that's got uh, metal strips along the bottom to keep the plastic sled from wearing out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, they, they haul that behind it. You just have to watch out for the rope tying up your feet. Yeah. Well, the operation controls are we've got four speeds forward, one reverse, and the clutch to go forward to just engage, pull in, and then away you go. This is an operator presence that is required for when you have the blade on. If you take your hand off here, the blade, in fact, the whole engine will shut down. If the blade is engaged. The blade engagement is just simply pull that on. And uh, you always want to engage the blade at idle. And then throttle up. Otherwise you'll get wear, tear, like wearing out the clutch. So, let's turn this thing over. Somebody turn it from there. Oh, whenever you turn it over, be sure to turn the, turn the fuel off. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, the gas will... When you turn it over even now, it, it'll drizzle out of the carburetor. But at least you won't get it out of the tank. Is that going to be true with the newer model, too? Probably. I don't know whether the new one's going to be carbureted or not. So we've got a transmission which is up here. We drive the chain which drives the wheel. The This is the drive belt for the wheels here. And when you press on your clutch, you pull an idler in, which brings that tight and then then that engages the transmission, which then drives you forward. How long does the belt last before you have to go back in and pull it out? Many years. Okay. This belt lasts many years. Now the other belt that engages the clutch, or engages the blade, will tend to wear out due to uh, slippage issues if you run into an obstacle. So this has got to come off to get to the belt over there. Or can you just, you know, there's no way you're going to be able to just slide the belt on and lift this on. No, it's and not. It's out. Off, well, know? I'll show you that when we turn, tip it back. This also has a differential lock, which we have a uh, tire wrapped in the off. Actually, actually it doesn't work. This differential will not switch on and off now because it's worn out. Oh, poor baby. Um, so both wheels run in parallel then, or not? Oh, they'll run just like in a car. They're, they've got, you've got a differential inside. But you can lock them so that they both drive together. That's what I meant. So they're not locked? They're not locked. Okay. The new DR that when we get it we'll have, instead of this switch here, we'll have a switch up on the panel, which will be a lot nicer. Because this, this has been a, always been a pain in the neck on this model, because it li it likes to jump out and lock up the differential. Then you've got to oh, pull it back in. Now it doesn't matter because it's, it doesn't engage anyway. 
blade, this is a new blade. You can see how worn it is. Worn it. I took the file and I knocked off some of the rough edges yesterday. But in order to uh, change that, you just put a block of wood between here and here, and you can turn that nut right off. Does that run counterclockwise? Yeah, that's the right hand thread. Yeah. yeah, it's turning. Yeah. yeah. And that's our new spindle. In fact, this whole assembly is the new spindle that we've got. The, bro the welds break. Well, sh I'll show you that. Let's go ahead and turn this back up. clutch. I'll show you all I Clean. Yeah, clean. You see where that... Stop jinxing it. Where it pulls, there's still about three quarters of an inch before it... That old clutch was, was pulling it all the way forward and there was no more clutch material left mm. for that to work. And to change this clutch, it was a matter of taking off this torque bar here, the spring off, block the block the uh, blade, and then we just turn that nut off. And this is set on a on a shaft on a woodruff key to lock that to the shaft. And I just had a crowbar underneath here, and I whacked on the top of it with a drift, popped it out. But I also had to take the belt off. Changing the belt is a matter of taking this spring off and the bar itself, and then there should be any of that. There is a bolt right down here, not in the bolt, that you need to pull that, this bolt all the way out. And once you pull that bolt out, you can push. The deck forward or towards the engine, which will slack off the uh, enough, give you enough slack to get the belt on and off. The belt is somewhat difficult to get on and off. There's a there's a clearance issue back here. Okay, Jim, just flip it over to get to that. And and in fact, I had to turn this over to put the belt on. Why don't you put it up on something and you get the lawnmower up or you get underneath it? Just do it that way. Mm, it's easier just to turn it over. Let's yeah, okay. turn it over again. I'm thinking if you're out in the middle of nowhere. We've changed it out in the field before. I think, Ron, you've changed one once, haven't you? I have not changed the belt. Oh, okay. I, I, uh, it was the battery that caused us uh, much oh. grief when it went dead out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> See, we've got a, a real tight, really tight area. area right between the differential and that belt right there. That it's real tricky to get this belt on and off. So Small once you've got it turned Small over, gap. you can you can wind it on there and then just barely get it between those two to wind that on. So that's where you have to put it on first. Actually, that's where you put on. That's where I put it on last. Really? I, there, okay. I would. No, I'm sorry. I did put it on here first, and then I wound it onto that that time. Mm -hmm. Let's turn it back. There's one other step in doing that belt. You need to take this spring off to take this idler off. That idler holds the tension. This belt turns all the time. The clutch just couples that action together. And that's a Kevlar belt, and that seems to have held up pretty good, but now with the new clutch, 
we're going to have a lot more wear and tear on the belt, I think. The belts are cheaper. What? Belts are cheaper than the clutch. That is true. That's a two hundred fifty dollar yeah. clutch right there. Yeah. That spindle was one hundred and seventy five dollars, and that ah. this is where the welds broke on the old spindle right there. And this new one has also got is uh, got a bigger weld. Plus, it's got gussets to hold that all together. A little yeah. improvement in the engineering change. Yes, they. Every every time that I've replaced things on here, this clutch cable is also a wear point. We've replaced probably a half dozen clutch cables over the years, and uh, and they've gotten better every time. They they have a newer, improved version. <laughs> you can see the old bra there's an old bracket there that's not used anymore. From the original. You didn't know you were going to be the new model for the, the page. Yeah. Did you? And in fact, this operator presence uh, switch is also a, a, a replacement for an older, older, more annoying. This this one works pretty good. There there was one that would just wear your hand out just terrible before. Had a sounds like my snow blower when I kick it. Had a stronger spring. So we change the oil once a year on this thing. How many hours do we do a year, you think? Uh, the grant said 200. And I, I really don't know. <laughs> it's kind of hard to count at all. Yeah, that's pretty tricky. You gotta get that in between this. on this side. Oh, no, we're not. There we go. The changing the oil on this. Um, the filter is a standard filter. You can uh, buy this filter at, at about any auto parts store. Although you can get a DR filter. We've had a Wix filter on this before. We've had a tractor supply filter on there before it's it's a common size that you can find that's a fram on there right now and changing the oil is right the, the drain is right here this uh, bolt on this extension here the easiest way I found is to pull this wheel off which is on a uh, keeper here jack put a jack under the on the under this side to lift it up, take the keeper off, slide the wheel off, and now you've got an area for the oil to go. Hang on to this tube with a uh, channel lock or vice grip, and then this uh, bolt will, the drain plug will come out, and then it'll drain fairly easily. So you can leave it level when you're draining. And level. It. You don't yeah. have to tilt. No, tilt we'll just leave it level to drain. So how many hours of operating would you want to change your oil in? We've two, been doing it once a year. Yeah, no, two, every 200 hours, or would you do it more frequently? I was 200 would probably be a good. I, I think this new mower we get, we'd like to get an hour meter put on it. We don't have an hour meter on this unit here, and then you'd really know where you're at. Right. Mm -hmm. But right now you you do it once a year. Once a year, the before the before the cutting season. Yeah. Although the, I'm sure the re manufacturer's recommendation would be to change the oil before you store it for the winter, mm -hmm. and put stable in the gas and all that. We've we've never done that one, and it's not caused us a problem so far. Mm -hmm. right. It starts up. This thing sat all winter, and it started right up. Oh God, you're lucky. What grade of oil do you use, and how much does it hold? It's about a quart and a half, and I, I think it's 30 weight. <coughs> Is the manual in the trailer? <laughs> it's online. I don't know. I've got it online. I've got a uh, 
manual that I uh, downloaded okay. on my computer. Okay. Maybe you'll forward that to me? We should do that. Yeah. Forward the link or have Mick put it on the website somewhere. Well, that, would, <laughs> that would be a good idea. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah that's better. Because it has instructions for check changing all these belts and servicing everything on this thing. Yeah, because usually the manual would be on there and somewhere just have to find it. Well, I'm not, I don't know whether it's online available. They, I had a guy send it to me when I was working on this the last time uh -huh. because I needed to know a few items. And, and the manual specific to this 98 model. Anything else you'd like to add? I think I've said it all. Thank you, Steve. Steve Hicks, North Country Trail.